welcome back our today's topic is let's focus on yarn and yarn architecture what is yarn yarn abbreviation is yet another resource negotiator what it means exactly in the hadoop architecture we do have two different nodes which are responsible for controlling all its jobs the resource manager would be responsible for allocating the jobs to the respective task nodes what if the resource manager is getting down then the respective jobs would not pass on to the pass on to the nodes or the jobs which are already currently in the running state might might be waiting for the resource manager to come online and as resource manager is not in the proper position to listen mode then the job status would be failed to handle this particular situation the resource managers are configured with two different uh, resource managers in place those are nothing but primary name node and secondary name node suppose the primary name node can act like a one resource manager and that can act like a interface where it can accept the respective jobs received from the clients and those jobs can be further segregated into sub tasks and then split spread it across the different node managers and each node manager can handle with the sub tasks in this particular scenario like uh, even if one particular primary name node got failed then immediately the secondary name node can serve the requests which are flowing in and then it can reallocate uh, reallocate uh, to the na- node managers uh, for processing the sub tasks and the secondary name node uh, will keep an eye on the primary name node to get active and once it is getting active then it will uh, hand over all the existing Uh, jobs and also the pending jobs which are uh, which are coming as a request to the secondary name node and uh, it will hand over to the primary name node and then secondary name node will be in the idle state so this mechanism would guarantee that the jobs which are submitted will never get uh, exhausted or uh, like uh, uh, this entire concept is built like a high availability mode so the high availability can be achieved via this particular resource manager concept and uh, first resource manager uh, resource manager uh, it would be responsible for the entire job life cycle of the uh, of the jobs received from the client sides and in the architecture you can correlate with uh, whatever the terms which i have uh, spoken about and uh, resource manager is the uh, centralized master and uh, where it can provide with the two different uh, name nodes uh, which are uh, uh, which can act like a serving layer and uh, each and every client suppose for example i am the one client and who made the request to upload activity then another client who might uh, request for the uh, retrieval of the information from the existing name nodes then uh, these two different uh, requests can act like a uh, two different jobs then those can be sent to the resource manager then uh, the first point of contact would be the primary name node the primary name node which can act like the serving layer and then the primary uh, node uh, which can uh, submit uh, the tasks to the respective node manager by simply allocating them and it can submit uh, to the respective task tracker and each and every task task nodes uh, which can be attached with the container and app re- app master registry so application master uh, which can hold uh, each and every uh, each and every task level and uh, where we can uh, we can able to see uh, the task which is under the running state and uh, if any failure then we can see the history from the application master and uh, each and every node manager which can, which is having the container inside for the processing and uh, application master to manage uh, the complete uh, workflow of the task and uh, this particular node managers once after it is done with the respective task to be accomplished then it will update back to the resource manager stating that the job is completed with this particular concept which would uh, provide like a high availability mode and uh, with this particular high availability the uh, application never fails because as and when the primary name node which is getting uh, getting failed then uh, it is handovering all his uh, jobs to the uh, 
secondary name node and the secondary name node will be live and uh, it can serve the request flowing in and uh, uh, whenever the primary name node gets uh, up and running then uh, it will uh, hand over uh, hand over the jobs uh, jobs uh, to the primary uh, primary primary node and uh, it will get relaxed so this entire system is a high availability and uh, this yarn architecture will be providing the high availability concept on top of the hadoop flavor please feel free to uh, ask any kind of queries in the comment section and uh, happy learning thank you